Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Heidi. Uh, today's video is going to be um, all the books and supplies that I have acquired since my last haul video, which was in the middle of July. And I've got quite a lot, so I'm going to try and not spend a ton of time on each individual thing so that I can get through it all um, without having to split this into two parts. That would be wonderful. So uh, first of all, thank all of you for watching and all my subscribers, all the new subscri subscribers. Um, I'm really grateful for you all. Um, thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, yeah, and let's just get going. So first of all, the first thing I've got is really special. This is um, not something that I bought, but something I won. So Lisa from Coloring My Way reached a thousand subscribers recently, um, like about a month ago or so, maybe a little bit more. Congratulations, Lisa. And she had a giveaway um, and she had two different bundles <clears throat> that she was giving away. And um, I won one of them, which was crazy to me because I never win anything. I don't think I've ever won anything in my life. So, um, super excited about that. So the things that she was giving away was, this was one of them, um, the Wild Tessellations by John Wick. Um, and I really, this is, he's one of my favorite, um, Creative Haven artists anyway. So when I saw it, I was like, ah, that's perfect. Um, and this is the Mystic Gems, um, Sharpie Ultrafine. Um, in a little pack and I took them out because I've used these already um, but yeah and the other one was another different coloring book and the mystic gems in fine so I entered both giveaways and I won one of them and like I said I was super excited so yeah thank you so much Lisa yay okay and I have everything behind me I'm just gonna be reaching behind me and pulling stuff randomly um so th the first thing here are four watercolor four tubes of cotman windsor newton cotman watercolors um that i got at blick and i bought these particular colors because i recently got a couple of watercolor technique books that i'm working going to be working in um that uh, used Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors and I happen to have a set of those but these were the four colors that weren't in that set so I wanted to have all the colors that she's working with in this book so that I could you know have all the colors needed so that the next thing I got this actually I got this a while ago this is just the Craft Smart glitter glue, kind of like the off-brand stickles, because um, I don't have any stickles or anything like this. So it was 99 cents. And then also at Michael's 99 cents, I got the uh, some gold paint pens, and I've used one of them, and it works great. Beautiful shiny gold paint. Um, next thing up is I bought this Daniel Smith masking fluid um, to try with watercolor painting. This is where you, you can apply it and paint over um, the area and it'll you when it's dry you peel it off and it leaves the area white so you apply it for highlights and things like that. So <clears throat> I'll be excited to try that out. I also got this satin glazing liquid gold by Golden. Um, I've been kind of getting back into using gesso and um, playing with the idea of having a different texture on my water or on my coloring book pages that's more like watercolor paper. Uh, at least that's what I'm kind of going for. Um, and I saw some videos that recommended satin glazing liquid, so I got this, and it's great. I've used it already. I really love it. It's smoother than gesso without having to sand it down. 
Um, I haven't really tried it with pencils, but it works great with um, water-based markers. So, very happy with that purchase. And the next, uh, another thing that I got was I got a bundle of Bic Intensity and it was this incredible sale. It was like a flash sale. Um, and I think it was like $15 for three things. And also, this is the first one. So it's like the metallics, the Bic Intensity metallics. And I think these are the fines. So they're not the super small tip, but it has a fine tip anyway so they work for fine work but yeah these are just the metallics they're not super super shiny and sparkly but they are um, metallic looking and also in that set um, were the big intensity fine and the ultra fine and I have the ultra fine um, when they used to call it uh, big marking and I just know that I'm gonna be running out of some of those colors pretty soon so when I saw this sale I thought I might as well get this I'll have plenty of backups because these are all the same colors so that is fantastic um, and then the next thing are some blending pencils so another thing I've been kind of doing lately is playing around again with um, uh, colorless blenders. I did one page recently with the Prismacolor colorless blender and it turned out fantastically and I love it. And so I thought, well, I'm going to try some of these other blenders I can find. So I got this pack of Caran d'Ache. Um, they call it the Full Blender Bright. And it's, um, so it came in a pack of two like this and um, you just sharpen it like a regular pencil and use it like a blender. It's harder than the Prismacolor colorless blender. Um, I haven't played with it too much yet, but I've seen some videos. Um, so judgment, my judgment is still suspended for these. And then I got the Caran d'Ache uh, pencil blender and I'm not sure if this is actually the same material as in this or not, but they seem to handle a little bit differently to me. Um, yeah, so just playing around with that. And next thing, um, I was at Blick Oh, probably a month ago, over a month ago, and just wandering through the paper aisle and got um, this little mixed media watercolor, or not not watercolor paper, but mixed media paper, obviously. Um, super deluxe. <laughs> so I thought I'd pick it up. It was fairly inexpensive, and um, I thought it would be good for just little projects. And then I got this Strathmore Artist Tiles watercolor paper because I liked the square format. Um, and then I ran into a couple of these notebooks that I'd never seen before. So this one is the uh, Circular Grid Notebook Polar Coordinates Graph Paper. And I looked at it and it looks like this. And I just thought it looked super interesting for like coloring and doodling and stuff that I like to do. I've done one page in here already. I'll just show you is that. And that was in my um, finished pages recently. So I picked that up. That was really fun to do and looking forward to doing more of that. And then I got um, this isometric grid notebook uh, with little it has little triangles like that and so I'm going to play around with coloring in this and you can also do some really cool stuff with like drawing isometric drawings like um, if you just look that up on YouTube you can find what I'm talking about but um, people can draw like these really elaborate kind of fantasy castle structures and it's pretty cool Uh, 
And then I also got <clears throat> the Ohuhu paint markers because I've been seeing these around a lot. Um, not the Ohuhu ones in particular, but just in general, the paint marker phenomenon has seems to have really taken off. So I was very curious about them. And you just shake them up. They, there's a little ball bearing in there, you know, like with Posca. And um, they don't have names or numbers, so I put the put a number on there and made a little swatch chart. They're really nice colors, very bright and mostly light colors. I have used these in a page and loved them. I absolutely loved them um, in a uh, pixel coloring page. Like um, I think it was the Square Mandalas. Um, coloring book by Belba family, but um, yeah, I really love these. I don't know how fast they The paint Gets used up. It's kind of hard to tell by just looking through the barrel um, But if they do last quite a while, I will be super super excited with these. I just I love how they cover the paper um, The tip is really nice on these markers. You can be really uh, detailed and very specific uh, specific about your lines and love them. One thing that I got um, are the King Art gel sticks. I've been seeing these around a lot lately. Um, the gel sticks, gel crayons kind of thing. Um, I'll just take them out and show you. So these are awesome. I've been using these quite a bit and I really love how these work. Um, they come in little boxes like this. Um, these are the colors. A nice range of colors. This isn't the largest set. You can get larger. This is the 24 pack. Um, I got this on Amazon. Uh, but they're very creamy and you just, what I've been doing is just scribbling on a little palette and applying with a brush and they're so soft and creamy that you actually need to use them up pretty fast once you scribble them on or they'll dry up on your palette so kind of like a paint so it's basically like painting with this kind of gel um, but you can get some really cool like soft blended effects with these um, really glad that I got those and I've been working on a page with these just today, so I'll look for that in my upcoming finished pages. Uh, another thing that I got was this pack of uh, Angora opaque watercolors. So I think these are probably technically gouache, I'm not sure, but um, this is the skin tone set. And ah, sorry about that. But look at those gorgeous colors. I didn't really need another watercolor pan set. I've got so many already, but I just couldn't resist. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Because um, I won't, I'm not going to mix colors like this just off the top of my head. So I thought, yeah, I just wanted to get this. And then down to a couple of the larger items. So I did cave and get the Brute Fooner Squares tin. Um, this is the tin of 120. And it on the Amazon website, it's got this really colorful um, image. I think it's like these crazy kind of 80s looking bright strips of color and stuff. I don't know, but it was just a paper cover that came off and I didn't keep it. Um, but these are the pencils. There are three trays of these. And for now, I'm just keeping them in the, in the trays. I'll probably, I'll probably get a case for these, um, eventually, but for now, I'm just going to leave them in here. These are surprisingly nice pencils for the price. Um, a lot of people had been recommending them and talking about how great they were. 
Um, just have a color number, no name. Um, they are square and you need a slightly larger pencil sharpener opening to um, to sharpen them. I happen to have one that worked, but if you only have one tiny little one, you might need to invest in another one. Uh, just so be aware of that. Um, but they are oil based. They are, they seem to go on pretty soft. Um, I don't, I haven't used them a ton, so I haven't really decided whether how much I like them. I like them off the bat, but I don't know if that will last or what my thoughts will be when I've used them more. So, yeah. But I am glad that I got them. got a couple of smaller sets which is sort of unlike me I usually get the largest possible but um, I went on a camping trip this summer with just a 12 pack of pencils and kind of realized that you can do a lot with smaller set you don't really need 120 pencils I mean it's nice to have them but you can do a lot with smaller so I got the 36 um, set of the Derwent Color Soft uh, just because I wanted to see what they're like and I mean I heard a lot of good things that they're soft and um, sort of a rival to the Prismacolors and I have not really used them on a page but so far I like them they seem very creamy soft blendable um, so we'll see I haven't yeah like I said I haven't tried them too much but I'm glad to be trying these out. And then this is something kind of completely different um, because this set of pencils isn't really designed for coloring pages. Not really good for coloring pages, I don't think. Um, I've tried them. They're very hard pencils. These are sort of professional artist pencils like if you're drawing I don't know if I can get this open uh, there we go if you are um, you know making colored pencil art basically um, but I do have the colored pencil paper that I bought uh, a couple months ago and I tried these on that paper and they and it worked beautifully I mean they're just gorgeous on like a toothier, much toothier paper than you generally get with coloring books. Um, so beautiful colors. You know, really like the Derwent pencils in general. They've got a color name, number. Um, they're hexagonal, so they're not going to roll around. Just, you know, a solid range of colors. So th these are different for me because most of the ones that I've got are designed pretty well I can't say that not designed for coloring books but very well suited to coloring books um, and are generally speaking softer pencils so this would be good for me to practice with something harder with like more layering um, I'm thinking of trying to do just some freehand kind of colored pencil drawings and that kind of thing um, with these. Okay, so that is it for the supplies and now we get to move on to the coloring books. So I have this big stack next to me. I'll just be reaching for stuff. <clears throat> this was on the top of the stack because it's the smallest. Um, so I got this, this mini Pusheen coloring book by Claire Belton, and I got this on Book Outlet for about three bucks. Um, it's just, most people have seen this, I think. Um, really cute, simple line art of Pusheen and food and all kinds of, you know, things. Just really cute, quick. This has been good for me for practicing with different mediums, 
trying things out um, before I tackle something larger. So, and plus it's super cute. So, really like this one. And then next, I just grabbed my stack of new Creative Havens. Um, I got a bunch of Creative Havens. Uh, the first couple here are by Angela Porter. I got the Eerie Entangled Art and the Entangled Starry Skies. More Zentangle style um, art. This super detailed stuff. If I'm in the mood, this is really, I love this stuff. Sometimes it's overwhelming, um, but yeah, they're beautiful. And this is all like kind of Halloween oriented art. And then this one is like stars and planets and, you know, night skies in general. This one's really pretty. And um, I think with all of these books that I'm showing you, they're are flip throughs already on YouTube somewhere because none of these are particularly new. Um, so if you want to see the pages in more depth, uh, just search in YouTube and I'm sure you can find some flip throughs for these. Um, so the next few are by Marjorie Sarnot, um, Fanciful Sea Life, and this one is really pretty. Really detailed undersea uh, themed art. And festive Mexican Talavera designs, also by Marjorie Sarnat. And it's got her like um, animals with like stylized designs on them. Cats and his this one is really cute. Chihuahua on a what do you call these carousel horses? Um, it's like the Talavera style pottery, but um, in she's just kind of done her own thing with these designs. And I like Mexican art and her art in particular, so. I've always wanted to get this. This is on my wish list. Finally got it. And then Owls by Marjorie Sarnot. And this is Owls. Look how pretty that is. Owls in all kinds of situations with it's just like really detailed, cute stuff. Yeah, that one. And then I got this other one called Animal Calaveras. And this is by Mary and Javier Agredo. And so there are like pages like this. Well, there's a lot of landscape ones. And these look really fun to do with some bright colors and I always love using the bright colors so this is perfect so there's those next in my stack is Tales from the Forest Kingdom by Hannah Carlson and this is the English version obviously um, so I had to basically wait a year uh, because most people got this in the original, what is it, the Swedish edition. Um, yeah, everybody knows this book. I don't really need to flip through it too much, but you know, beautiful artwork. I love it. Um, I had this on pre-order for months and months. And I just got this book and already she's got a new one that's out. So I'll have to wait probably, well I don't have to, but I'm, I've gotten the English version of all of these books so far, so I'll just stick with the English version and when this comes out in pre-order in the English version, when the new one does, which is called Tales from the Witch's Cottage, I think. 
Yeah, but anyway, so here's this one and beautiful book. I'm really glad about that. Another one that just came out recently, The Beauty of Horror 5 by Ellen Robert. This is a really, really fun one. I love looking through this one. This is um, mostly uh, dead celebrities and musicians and, you know, icons. Um, there are a few people in here who have not died, so it's a little confusing to me. Don't know what's going on with that. Um, let's see. So, Tupac Shakur, Biggie Smalls. I'm just going to flip through. Uh, there's a, I know there is at least one flip through of this already. There's the Beatles, David Bowie. Um, that's supposed to be, um, oh, for God's sake, I can't think of his name. Um, <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's slipping my mind. Kurt Cobain. Um, yeah. Carrie Fisher. I love this. I love Ellen Roberts' work. Not everybody does, but I I love these books so much. Janis Joplin. But anyway, who is it? There's okay, Betty White has not died. She is still alive. So I'm not quite sure what's I think he he, he just kind of overlooked that fact and that there are a couple people and like one of the Bee Gees is still alive as far as I know. Anyhow, <laughs> really fun book. Glad to have got that one. Uh, Fragile World by Kirby Rosanis. Um, this was one that I forgot to cover in my first my haul like from July. Um, I got this one way back in March because it was on pre-order. Uh, so everybody knows this one too, of course. Um, another Kirby book, just gorgeous. This one is Endangered um, Animals. And people have already been, of course, they've been doing beautiful work in this for months and months and months now. And I haven't worked in it yet. I have all these gorgeous books that I haven't worked in yet. But that's okay. So, there is that one. And then I got Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Basford. Another new one from her that everybody has already seen multiple times. Um, I'll just flip a little bit. And I just got this a couple days ago. I was at Target just like shopping for other stuff and happened to see this. It was the only, actually there was another one. There was World of Flowers. And then there were a couple other random coloring books and I just, of course I had to grab it. Beautiful art. And then this one is, I got this one on Book Outlet. Um, this is the American Gods coloring book. And American Gods is a novel by Neil Gaiman. Um, it's Neil Gaiman. Uh, and I read this novel twice. It's not my favorite of his work. It's not my favorite novel ever, but you know, I did read it and enjoyed it and thought it was interesting that there was a coloring book of it for it. So I picked it up because it was on book outlet. It was like probably $4. So, um, how could you not? So the art in here is by two or three different, I think it might be three different artists. And they're kind of, it's kind of comic book style, sort of in the style of like the Buffy the Vampire Slayer coloring books. Um, so I thought it would be fun to try something completely different out because this is pretty much different from what I usually do. 
Uh, yeah, so there's that one. Okay, the next books that I have, I have this huge stack of Fabiana Atanasio because the last haul that I did, I showed Peter Pan that I had gotten from um, Book Outlet and I said that I was on a quest to get more Fabiana Atanasio books and I wasn't kidding because look how many I got. Wow. Um, and I have to thank um, one of my subscribers named Sylvie for kind of cluing me in um, on where to find some of these. Uh, she told me that you could find a lot of her books on books at book depository. So I went on there, found a bunch, and many of them were not really too expensive either. I thought that they might be super expensive, but... Um, some of these, like the ones, the Polish versions, like this one, for example, um, was I think about $7, which is kind of amazing. Um, so this is Pinocchio. This is the Polish version. Um, you know, again, Fabiana Atanasio's style, just really fun, beautiful, and you know, cute, but also with kind of doodly pages that can be, you can kind of go wild with them and just have fun, um, like that. I just think it's really, really cool. Uh, yeah, so I got Pinocchio. This is also the Polish version of The Wizard of Oz. I'll just flip through briefly. Oops. Kind of going from back to front, which is. I just want to show you the artwork a little bit. So there's that one. Um, and then I got the Spanish version of uh, Snow White. And all of these have, you know, the giant poster in the back, which I don't really think I will ever color, but I've got them. Yeah, so that's Snow White. And then I got Beauty and the Beast, and this is the Italian version. Um, there are still a couple of these I haven't been able to find. Hansel and Gretel is one of them, and I think there's, I think, Cinderella is one of them. Like I need them, right? I mean, it's crazy. I don't know why I need all these. Just, I just love them. Um, this is the Italian version of the Jungle Book. Well, based on the novel by Kipling. And I think these are all Disney movies, too. And then lastly, I have uh, Alice in Wonderland, and this is the English version. And a lot of people have this one. Um, if anyone wants to flip through some of these, let me know. I do think that probably all of these already have flip throughs. They're not particularly new. So, yeah, 
so those are all the Fabiana Atanasio coloring books that I got. So I also got How to Draw Inky Wonderlands by Johanna Bassford, and this is one that I got from Book Outlet. And this one, I wasn't, you know, if it were full price, I probably wouldn't have purchased it, but it was three or four dollars, so I just couldn't pass that up. But um, she shows you how to draw some of her little creatures. And I, I might do that someday. I've also thought of maybe using this book as just a coloring book on its own. Some of the, I mean, there's a lot of beautiful art to color anyway, but who knows? We'll see. Maybe I'll practice learning to draw some of these little things. And then I also got Johanna's Christmas. This was um, from Book Outlet 2. And this one was released, I think, 2016 or something. You know, it's everybody knows this book already, but I didn't have it. Um, and it was, you know, on Book Outlet for a very good price, so I just had to get it. I'm not super into Christmas coloring, but this is a really pretty one. So there's that. And I also got um, Millie Murata's Woodland Wild. Um, I believe this is her newest one, if I'm not mistaken. I think I got this on Book Outlet 2, which makes me wonder if it is the newest. But anyway, um, yeah, it's Millie Murata's Animals. These are all animals from woodland settings. All kinds of animals um, in her usual style, which I like. So there's that. Um, I finally got Circle of Life by Mel Pomeni Chatsapanagiotu. Um, and, you know, this has been huge on Color Tube. Everybody's coloring this one. It's a gorgeous book. Really beautiful illustrations. Haven't worked in it yet. Um,. But yeah, it's gorgeous. I had to have this one, of course. And then this one is called Gulliver's, Gulliver's New Travels, Coloring in a New World by James Gulliver, Gulliver Hancock. Can't speak today, apparently. Um, and this is one that was totally new to me. I had never heard of it. Um, I looked for a flip through and really liked what I saw. I like this style, uh, so I just got it. And I have colored in this. Um, oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, the, I really like this style of illustration. It's kind of doodly kind of calls for lots of bright colors and, you know, your own interpretation of things, which I like. Uh, and it's all about travel. That's the his kind of theme. I think he even did a lot of these drawings while he was traveling. Um, and he's from Australia, but apparently travels a lot or traveled a lot at one point in his life. and. So, this book was a result of that, but, yeah, like a lot. Uh, I also got the Mythographic uh, Paradise by Fabiana Atanasio. This was also from Book Outlet. Um, 
I wasn't sure if I was going to get any more of these books because I, I'm not crazy about the, I mean, the images are gorgeous apart from the little hidden objects. I'm really not a fan of the hidden objects, I have to say, but there are ways around it. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people's really clever ways they get around that by covering it up, ignoring it completely, and just letting it letting them blend into the background. Uh, so, yeah, and I really love her artwork. And um, it was a fantastic price, so I just got this one. And yeah, they're really details, as you can see, and slightly intimidating, but it just takes time. I'm impatient, that's the problem. <laughs> And then on to the last stack that I got, um, sort of my last little haul that I got from Amazon. Um, I got Creepy Kawaii, a uh, pastel goth coloring book by, is this Larisa May? Wait, hold on. Pretty sure it is. It's on the inside of the first page, I think. Larisa or Lariza? I'm not sure, sure how you pronounce that. Larisa May Marinas, um, and they're just really, really cute, kind of chibi figures, and like Halloween-y images. A lot of people have been coloring in these lately. I've been seeing a ton of these, like all the Chibi Girls books, and I haven't, they're all on my wish list, but I haven't, um, picked any up except for this one. <laughs> Actually that one is kind of hilarious. The little goat, the pentagram. Uh, cute. Yeah, these are really fun. And then I got um, the 100 best coloring pages of The Greatest Hits by Jade Summer. Um, my thinking behind this was that if I had a nice variety of pages of all the Jade Summer books, maybe I wouldn't be as likely to buy all of them, all of the individual ones. So there's one page from 100 of Jade Summer's books, and I really like this. I like having the variety. Some of these I would never, you know, like the ones with the text on them, I would never buy those books. But who knows, I might have a lot of fun coloring it. Um, so yeah, just a really wide selection of different kinds of pages to color. Oops. And then um, these two, I got the 50 Ocean Miniatures and 50 Jungle Miniatures by Camellia Angelkova. These were my first Camellia Angelkova books. There are just so many out there, and but I just wanted to get these in particular because this book is just really adorable, I thought. Really fun, um, pretty simple images, like kind of quick if you want them to be. You can use markers um, or whatever you want. Uh, really cute. And then ocean, pretty much the same. Like just really cute images. Another one I got is the Welcome to Tatiana Bogema's Coloring World. And this is another variety pack kind of coloring book um, of all of her, well not all of it, her, but a select number of some of her coloring books. Um, so this is Tatiana or Tanya, she sometimes goes by Bogema Stolova's books. So some of her steampunk books. 
great lions, cute girls, Halloween, um, a whole bunch of the nice little towns, and magic mask. Some of these I'd never heard of before. Here's an example of some of the art, but um, I had not purchased any of her artwork before, which, I mean, they're all on my list, my wish list, but I just hadn't gotten around to buying any. But look at that, it's so pretty. Um, that is, this one is really cute too. So yeah, there's a lot of variety. Some of them are really, really cute, like the nice little town. Some of them are kind of zentangly and doodly. Like this one is a little bit more like that. Um, and some of them are, if I can come to an example, like this. These are from her classic, what are they called? Um, where is it? Uh, vintage classic coloring pages. That's what that is. So, yeah, excited to have this. Um, look, that's so beautiful. So cute. Look at that. Yeah. So, Tatiana Bogema's um, kind of. I don't know what you call it, a sample, sample coloring book. And I'm getting down to the last couple. Um, so I got 50 Animal Mandalas by Such and Such Deva. And this is my first Such and Such Deva book. Um, this one in particular looked really pretty and fun. Um, so many good books from him, but I, you know, you can't buy everything. Well, you could, but <laughs> I would personally run out of room. So these are really pretty and fun and fairly simple. Um, color by number, mandalas with animals. And I just, I like them a lot. And I know a lot of people have been coloring in this. I did do one that was in my last... Uh, completed pages. But yeah, I'm really glad I got this one. And then the last book that I have is Summer Silhouettes by Sun Life Drawing. Um, and this is one of the ones that I wanted to get after working in the 40 coloring pages from Sun Life Drawing. It's kind of their sample pack coloring book. Um, and this is the one where, oh, that's a sample page, but uh, they're silhouettes. And you can either color it in a solid color or you can do, make little patterns, use a variety of different colors. Like, I don't know, you could do I just think you can do a lot of different things with this. So it's kind of why I got this because I had some a few ideas of what I wanted to try in here and I did one page which is this one that has um, it's kind of a, a lots of dots style if you know that book by Anna and Sheena. Um, you just pick up some colors and do random sizes of dots and it's fun. It's um, it's more fun than, I don't know, they're all fun, but <laughs> I really like, I enjoyed doing that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm going to try to think of different ways to color these in. So that is all for this haul. Uh, thanks for watching, those of you that made it all the way through. Thanks so much. Um, I appreciate you watching my videos and hope everyone is well and having fun with all their colorings and uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.